Hi Crown Point families. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you what we've been working on in module two this week. We've been working with making a 10 to add on to. I know that this concept has been a little difficult for some of the students and I've been sending home some homework for practice. So I thought I would just take a few minutes to show you how we did lesson three today in math. That way, when you're doing the homework, you guys can use the same strategies and use the same steps that we're using in the classroom. So we're gonna begin with question one. Maria has nine snowballs and Tony has six. How many snowballs do they have in all? The first thing that we do is we find our math facts. Maria has nine snowballs. Our math fact there is nine. So we wanna circle the nine. And Tony has six. So our second math fact is six. We wanna circle our six. Normally, we would draw what we read, but since the drawing has already been done for us, we're gonna look at our two groups and we're gonna figure out which number is closest to 10. In this case, nine is closest to 10. So we're going to think, who is nine's buddy to make a 10? And that is one. So we know that we need to take one of the snowballs from Tony's group and add it to Maria's to make a 10. So we do this by drawing a circle around our 10. We're gonna take one of Tony's and we're gonna group it with Maria's. As soon as we do that, we wanna double check that we've circled the right amount. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now that we know that we have 10, we're going to label it. Down here, we're going to write our thinking. Nine and one make 10. Now we look at what we did not include in our circle group, and we count those out. One, two, three, four, five. And I also wanna label that as well. So down at the bottom, it says 10 and, our second group is five, make 15. Maria and Tony have 15 snowballs in all. For number two, it says, Bob has nine raisins and Johnny has four. How many raisins do they have all together? So again, we're going to look for our math facts and to, now we're going to draw what we read. So Bob has nine raisins. That's our first math fact. So we will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Johnny has four. Our second math fact is four. In that group, we will draw one, two, three, four. We're going to look at which number is closest to 10, nine. And we know that nine's buddy to make a 10 is one. So we're going to have to take one away from our second group and add it to our first group. So I'm going to start by taking one and adding it to nine. Then I'm gonna quickly count to make sure that I have 10 in my group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And I'm going to label it as 10. I know that nine plus one equals 10. I'm going to look at what is remaining outside of my group, what I did not circle, and that is one, two, three. Again, I'm going to label it three. 10 plus three for my two groups is going to equal 13. So Bob and Johnny have 13 raisins. All right, we're gonna go to our next question. It says, there are three chairs on the left side of the classroom and nine on the right side. How many total chairs are in the classroom? Again, I'm gonna find those math facts and I'm gonna draw what I read. There are three chairs on the left side of the classroom. One, two, three. And nine on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I've got my two math facts, three and nine. And I know that nine is closest to 10. And nine's buddy to make a 10 is one. I'm gonna take one from my first group and add it to the nine in my second group. 
And then I'm gonna quickly make sure that I circled the right amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I label it. Nine plus one equals ten. I've accounted for my group that I circled. There are two that are not in my circle. One, two, I'm gonna label that as two. Down here, I will write 10 plus 10 plus two equals 12. There are 12 total chairs. All right, and for our last question, number four, it says there are seven children sitting on the rug and nine children standing. How many children are there in all? Again, we're gonna find those math facts and we're going to draw what we read. There are seven children sitting on the rug. Our math fact is seven. We're going to draw what we read, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And nine children standing. We're gonna circle that other math fact nine and draw what we read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know that nine is closer to 10. So we're going to figure out who's nine's, who nine's buddy is to make a 10, which is one. We're gonna take one from our first group and add it to our group of nine. Then we're gonna make sure that we have 10 grouped together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and we're gonna label it 10. Down here, we're going to record that nine plus one more equals 10. Now I'm going to look at what was not put into my group of 10. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to label my group. Now I know that 10 plus six is going to equal 16. There are 16 children in all. So basically this entire week, we've been working with finding our math facts in the word problem, circling them, drawing what we read, finding our number closest to 10, making our 10, and then seeing what we can add to 10 to solve the problem. If you have any questions or concerns um, about the practice homework that I've been sending home, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and um, we can go over it some more. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.